Hey, Brent Porcio, topvelocity.net. Going to do a fun demonstration today on the difference between a rocker throw and a 3x separation throw. We're going to use the Pocket Radar Smart Coach to measure the velocity differences and allow us to get into there and do some video analysis on the biomechanical differences. This is a great device for doing this because it not only will embed the velocities into the video, It'll cut the video for me each throw so I don't have to manually do it. It makes it easy for me to reference in session. Good to use off season, in season, uh, in bullpen or in your drills. I'm, I'm gonna go through the setup and, and how it works in the process of demonstrating the two drills. If you're really excited about the pocket radar and you don't have one, the smart coach, I'm gonna give one away at the end of the video. So make sure if you wanna participate, you follow the rules below and uh, that way it'll enter you into the contest and you can win a smart coach. So at the first I have it set up on an iPhone stand. I've got it there about ball height where I'm gonna be releasing from off the mound. I got it plugged in. That way I don't have to use my battery power. You still can use your battery power, but I have it plugged in so it runs continuously. From there I'm gonna configure it or set it up or connect it to my iPad, really simple. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. You can find uh, other YouTube videos on how to do that. But once you get it connected, I'm gonna go into the camera. So with my iPad here, I have it on a kiosk. You could use your iPhone in a stand, but I have it filming my throwing session out here. I like the side view so we can see a lot of the biomechanical differences. Once it's set up, I'm gonna hit start. It's ready to record. Like I said, each pitch, it's going to cut a clip of each pitch so you can go back and we can break it down. First drill is gonna be a rocker throw. I'll break down the rocker throw and then we'll move on to the three X separation throw. So here we go. All right, in the rocker throws, you're in a lateral foot position. You typically, your hands are together. You're gonna rock to your front leg, back to your back leg, separate and throw. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to keep the same intensities between the two. So here we go. All right, in a separation throw, the difference is going to be the feet are straight, the front foot is slightly closed, the back foot is straight, you're on the ball of your foot, that puts your hips open, so now when I separate my hands and line up left side, I slightly cock the arm, now I have a separation of back hip to back shoulder. In separation, I'm going to lift and drive, that's going to power my hips open as I pull and keep my shoulders back. That's going to enhance hip to shoulder separation, which studies show increases velocity and also can reduce stress in the arm because it gives your your arm more time to go through a proper path all right so i'm going to demonstrate in the throw and try to keep the same intensities all right once you finish your throws you're going to hit stop and then you're going to open up your photos and then we're going to go through the two throws here we have the uh, rocker throw, then we have the 3x separation throw. The coolest feature here is you can hit share and you can share this in your social media. So when you share it in your social media, it's going to have the pocket radar tag with the velocity on it. So it's something where you could share with your coaches, you could share with anyone on your channel, or you could kind of do it in the same environment here. You could compare it in an analysis video using something like Coach's Iron Huddle Technique. Uh, and compare them to and then share that. So uh, it's really cool that now you have something to put out there which can act like a recruiting reel or a, per, uh, a work in progress reel as you work yourself like we do with the 3X Velocity programs from say, you know, 80 to 90, 75 to 95, what, whatever you're able to do uh, in your training, um, you know, you're gonna allow everyone in your channel to see your progress, which is really cool. All right, so let's uh, break down each one of these videos. All right, I've imported both of the videos from my photos into Huddle Technique on the iPhone here. Huddle Technique is in a video analysis app. You can use any video analysis app. I'm looking at the rocker throw on the left, the three X separation throw on the right. Now, key differences already. We're starting the movement here with the rocker throw when the feet stay down. With the separation throw, the drive leg picks up. As you can see here, it picks up. That's going to make a huge difference that means I'm gonna be able to do like I normally do and move down the mound and build momentum down the mound here because I'm stuck in the ground 
I'm not going to be able to move down the mound, so I'm going to have to basically, it's going to be harder to drive and push forward and back, so I'm going to probably want to rotate more. So let's see how, as we move uh, into front foot strike, or, you know, ultimately with when your foot is down, it's going to be arm cocking. Here, when you lift and move into front foot strike, you're going to see a lot more things occurring that are very common in elite throwers. You're going to see the, the back leg pushing and driving a little bit more. As you can see, the ankle coming off. You're not seeing that here. You're going to see the front leg getting into a more linear foot position or leg position to support a more uh, a better finish position, meaning allowing your trunk to really move forward. And then because when the foot is still lateral or sideways on the rubber, because you were able to really drive and carry momentum forward in the rocker throw, it leaves the hips completely closed. So you can see when we hit front foot here and stabilize with the separation throw, my hips open. So this is when my hips open and I still have some shoulders closed. So I have hip to shoulder separation. That's why it's called a separation throw. And the rocker throw, when the hips open, you can see right here in the same position as the separation throw, I'm well into the throw. So there's really no separation here. The hips and shoulders are in sync. And in the separation throw, they're separated. Shoulders back, hips open. So that's the key thing here about the 3X separation throw, the ability to enhance hip shoulder separation, because this drill will take guys that can't even separate and immediately get them separating, and they will see a velocity improvement. So because of that, when you have more momentum, you have more hip-to-shoulder separation, you have different finish. You're going to have a little more forward trunk finish, and you're going to have a more linear front leg finish, a more extending front leg finish. You can see my front leg here is more vertical, and my trunk is more vertical. So the, the rocker throw, because your feet are stuck down, it's restricting your ability to build momentum like in the separation throw, drive your hips open like in the separation throw, and ultimately optimize hip-to-shoulder separation, which will create a really elite finish, which is what we're seeing here. And it's why the velocity differences are there, 73 to 68, which is a five-mile increase, which is typical of those who work in separation throws, they start to increase velocity. And you see a good five-mile increase uh, as they start to really understand and implement the drills effectively. So if you want more information on the Pocket Radar, I've got some other cool videos on it with the Smart Coach. Um, I'm going to put information down below. And don't forget, you can enter to win for the competition to win a Smart Coach. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.